They look cool. It's a sharp look. Okay guys, we are out here in McQuite Bay for a few weeks now. We've been trying to get a shell fishing permit um, to have something to do this fall. We just got it this week. We're out here. We're going to try to find some cohogs, maybe some steamers. Tyler's got the waders on so he knows what he's doing already. Hopefully we get some clams and we're going to try to make a clams casino later right next to the rope got it there's gonna be one right there little guy yeah should we tech uh test it do a little check can't fit through sweet good for clams casino over a dozen clams so far uh, it's really a lot of fun it's like a huge rush when you get one of the clams it's like kind of hard to find them the way we were doing it is you look around for these little holes and bubbles coming out of the water and usually that means there's a clam under there so if you want to go clamming it's a great activity with your friends and family um, you'll need a few things first you need a rake second you need a peck that's where you're gonna put your cohogs. We also got gloves, but we didn't use them at all. But if it was cold, you might want those. And most importantly, you need this measuring tool. It's like a little gauge that tells you whether or not the clams are legal for harvest. We've been out here for probably two hours or so, maybe a little bit more. We caught a bunch of clams, we had a bunch of fun. Now we're headed back. We're going to make some clams casino. We're gonna to try to see if we can get Haley East Coast to even try a clam. She's not a huge seafood person, um, but I know Tyler and I were incredible chefs. She's really gonna love it. All right. <laughs> The true test. I don't like when you're <laughs> <laughs> yes. What do you think? It's good. good. 